Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Star Wars Wednesday. Today, I will be presenting you with my top 10 list of 2021 of Star Wars The Black Series, that is. How I go about determining is it came out in 2021 and I own it. And some of them I've done reviews on, some of them have reviews forthcoming. Thank you for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them. Available for free on my channel. Wink, wink. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting the channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, or to help the channel out further, or both. That's cool, too. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. And with all that said, let's get into it. And coming in at number 10 in no particular order whatsoever. The order of these figures appear in does not necessarily mean they are the order in which I like them. Just that these are the top 10 that I've picked. And that's it. So, coming in at number 10, The Clone Wars, Asajj Ventress. Uh, I like the use of the soft goods on this character. It does hinder the articulation a little bit, but, you know, the head sculpt is a good cross between the animated series and the realistic take that the Black Series tries to do. Uh, she does come with her lightsabers. They are uh, have the appropriate deco on them. You know, she's got all these little tattoos on her head from Night Sistering, I suppose. But the colors are vibrant, and I think this is a really good representation of the character. Again, at number 10, Asajj Ventress, in no particular order. At number 9, in no particular order, the Target exclusive Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. I like this figure. I, I, I do think it's a good head sculpt on him. Much better than the Episode 3 Obi-Wan from well, Wave 1 or 2, Series 1 or 2 of the Black Series. You know, that very first Obi-Wan they did from Episode 3 is horrible. Horrible. Um, I did miss out on the Walgreens one that was the Clone Wars Micro Series Obi-Wan where he was in, you know, head to toe in clone armor and then had the uh, Jedi robe. Uh, attached to that. I did miss that one, but I did manage to get my hands on this one, and I really enjoy it. He's a really good figure. Nice decoing. Nice face sculpt and print. So, there he is. Number 9, Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. Coming in at number eight is Return of the Jedi Deluxe Boba Fett. Now, I know a lot of people... Oops, sorry about that. A lot of people had complaints about the deco on this guy. You know, I'm okay with it. You know, maybe his pants could have been, you know, smudged up or whatever a little bit more. And, and you know, his tunic, whatever. And uh, But, you know... It's passable. It's a good sculpt. It's much better than the uh, the first Boba Fett we got. And 
and you know he looks pretty good so there you have my number eight in no particular order Deluxe Return of the Jedi Boba Fett. And at number seven, in no particular order, we have from The Mandalorian or The Clone Wars, take your pick, or Rebels even, Bo Katan Kreese. And, you know, the deco on this figure is pretty good too. I mean, look at, look at the, the helmet. And then when you take the helmet off, I mean, that face, that's Katie Sackhoff. I mean, it. there's no mistaking that that's Katie Sackhoff. The job that they did on this sculpt and print for this head is superb. You're not supposed to take your bucket off. Shut up, stupid. And at number seven, in no particular order, there she is, Bo-Katan Kreese. In the number six spot, in no particular order, we have the Clone Wars Target exclusive Anakin Skywalker. And you know, this is a good representation of the first couple of seasons of Anakin. And again, it's that cross between the animated and realistic faces. And it looks okay. It's better than a lot of the other Anakins that have been done. I say that like there's a ton of Anakins that's out there for the Black Series. But nice colors, nice overlays. You know, it's a good looking figure. Again, it... Like the Obi-Wan, it, it really represents that first couple of seasons of the Clone Wars. And I think it does it really well. So there he is, number six, in no particular order, Anakin Skywalker. And at number five, in no particular order, we have the 501st Clone Trooper from the Archive Wave. That was 501st, Episode 3, Obi-Wan, Episode 4, Princess Leia, and I forgot what the other one was. Oh, well. It's not important. This is the one that's important. You know, this guy's seen some action. He's smudged up. He's dirtied up. Anakin has brought these guys with Captain Rex through some action. And then they go march on the Jedi Temple and kill everybody. So there he is, number five in no particular order, the 501st Clone Trooper. And here we have at number four in no particular order, Hunter from the Bad Batch. Uh, I haven't done an in-depth look at this guy yet, but I've looked at him enough to know he belongs on my top 10 list. There he is with his Rambo head, his pistol, his rifle, his backpack, helmet, vibroblade. So... He is ready for whatever comes his way. And there he is in no particular order, number four, Hunter, who won't stand up from the Bad Batch. At number three, in no particular order, we have Tech from The Bad Batch. And I know there's a couple of issues with this figure. Like, you know, you should have clear lenses here and 
stuff. But, you know, I think this is a good enough representation of the character for me. He comes with his rifle. He comes with a couple of tools. And he can't really hold in his hand too much, really. You know, he's got his backpack with some antennas. His uh, tech glasses. His Google glasses. Google glasses. So, like I said, he might have a couple of issues, but I like him. I think it's a good representation of the character. And he made my top ten list, so there he is at number three, Tech from the Bad Batch. And coming in at number two, in no particular order, we have the Deluxe Wrecker from the Bad Batch. And, you know, he's fast becoming my favorite character on the show. Hey, give me some Mantel mix. He's got his Bad Batch gun. He's got his Vibro blade. And he's super Hulk strong. And he does have his backpack. Which does, I promise, plug back in the hole. And, you know, it's a pretty good face sculpt. You definitely know this is Wrecker, even though, you know, it is a cross between the animated and realism factor. He's got some scarring. He's seen some action. But there he is at number two, Wrecker from the Bad Batch. And coming in at number one in no particular order, formerly of the Bad Batch, now an Imperial soldier. We have crosshair in his imperial raiment. Um, I have not got my hands on the original Clone Force 99 Bad Batch crosshair yet. So I don't know how much of this one is reuse of that one. And I have not reviewed this guy yet. That review is forthcoming. But I just, you know, I like the way he looks. Why couldn't Hunter have a little belt with it to put his pistol? I don't know. But, you know, you got a viewfinder. His helmet is much more stormtrooper-y looking. And it is a little bit harder to get off, but, you know, that face sculpt is super. I think he has the best looking face sculpt and print out of the whole Bad Batch. But there he is, folks. My number one, in no particular order, Imperial Armored Crosshair. Thanks for watching my top ten list. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Only support from viewers like you make this program possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews or to help the channel out further, or both. That's cool, too. Don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future, you will be notified as my future content becomes available.
And that's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.